So I'm going to be talking to you guys for a little bit on cloud computing. You guys saw our cool video. You heard Sarah talk about um, remote, you know, go to assist and how she helps every day manage all this infrastructure. So what is, what is behind cloud computing? After I go through the cloud computing a few slides, I'm going to be talking about what is it like to be working at a big company and a startup. So I've had experiences in both, so I'll share those with you guys too. We are all experiencing and participating in a changing compute era. PC era is fast becoming a thing of past, and we are adopting and seeing cloud era in forefront of us. PC era, we all came to offices. We had desktops or laptops that we brought with us. Those were company provided. We worked on wired networks, and we dealt with monolithic and big applications, which were sometimes clunky and you know, just slow to use. In cloud era, we are seeing some of the things that are going to be changing. You know, today, when Sarah, you know, today's world, if Sarah had a remote employee, she had to come up with exceptions in security or access, allow access to applications. She had to figure out how to deal with a new hosted application that company just decided that they were going to use, or outsourced application for, for you know, for your um, any kind of services. Those are all exceptions. But cloud era, this will become all norm. The exceptions of PC era being the mobility, the bring your own devices the simple to use applications are going to be a norm going forward in the cloud era. Today, when we are at home, we have a lot of you know, devices that we share between ourselves, with our families. We use them for entertainment. We connect them using Wi-Fi. So we make a little personal cloud for ourselves at home. And enterprises today, they had you know, all of their infrastructure in-house but slowly but surely, they're outsourcing. They are using hosted services to provide value and tools to their employees as well as customers. In cloud computing or public clouds such as Google, Zynga, Amazon, they are growing rapidly. You see new services being offered by all of them and many others every day. So they are really, really growing. What we see is the private cloud, which are enterprises, are you know, merging with public clouds and the personal cloud is emerging at a really fast pace. We all want more cool devices at home. We want them all connected. You know, we want to be able to go to our TV and click a Netflix video as soon as we get home, or our kids want to do that. So we all have lots of multiple devices. Every, you know, everybody has one or two or three or more at home itself. So we see the personal cloud emerging and the public and private cloud converging. So you know, what are we going to do um, you know, about this growth and how are we going to take advantage of this. So the cloud era today, the markets are growing at double-digit pace, and they're really fueled by three major factors, mobility, enterprise cloud hosting, and hosted services. So mobile work styles, you know, we saw Sarah show us some of the videos of, you know, how easy it is to work from anywhere. She's, you know, doing that very successfully today. People want to be able to use any app, access any data on any device. That's really what you know, we want to look to future, and that's what we want to get to. What, what do you need to be able to do that? What, what kind of infrastructure do we need in the back end to be able to provide services like that? There, there need to be a more you know, widespread usage of cloud services. We have to be able to build these cloud services in an easy way and be able to bridge the access from enterprise and to the cloud services. Today, if you have a hosted app, you might have to go log in in one place and then come back and log in again. So we want all this to be very seamless and very secure. And we want to be able to give you an easy way to get to all these apps. You know, I'm, I'm sure everybody has, has, has had one reason or the other to go to Apple you know, App Store and download an app. How easy it is. You know, it's unified. It's simple. So we want that experience even at work. Why not? You know, I want to be able to do that. So we want to be able to help build such cloud services and be able to access any cloud and deliver these applications in this work style seamlessly. This is what we do and come to Citrix for every day. So we're going to show you some of the cool uh, you know, products that we are working on to support the mobile work styles 
we are working on executive mobility. You know, we have multiple devices, our execs or ourselves or some of you, you know, move from device to device. You know, I mean, Sarah was just using iPad. We are using cool technology that Don is supporting in the back. And, you know, we have mobile phones, PCs. So we want to be able to show our demos from one to the other. So that allows exec mobility. And if you guys come to Synergy, you can see some of the cool demos um, as well. Bring your own devices. We want to be able to go to the store, get the latest MacBook or MacBook Air or PC and bring it to work because I want to use the cool device because it has cool features. So I want to be able to use it. But guess what? Sarah has to support it. So we have to make it easy for Sarah to bring that device, provide secure access to it and be able to use it right away. Work shifting. Um, work shifting is essentially what Sarah just showed us. You know, we want to be able to work from our home office our car sometimes because we are waiting for our kids soccer game or whatever and be able to take the calls from anywhere and we, we want to be able to work effectively um, effectively from any location in anywhere so so those are some of the products we're going to be bringing to market to enable mobile work style in in order to do that we we really you know passionately believe that we have to provide infrastructure to build cloud services and any customer uh, that we have today or that we're going to be you know, working with tomorrow, we want them to be able to create these cloud services with the infrastructure we provide. So our desktop virtualization product, our unified storefront, our enterprise cloud network products such as Zen Desktop, Netscaler, my favorite product, and, um, uh, and as well as uh, cloud stack products, we're going to be all working seamlessly to provide uh, you know, a, a package that people and customer can create the cloud services themselves and be able to host such services to provide the mobile work styles. At the end, you know, we will have cloud services which will be infinite capacity and, and provide elasticity. So as, you know, as users um, rush to Amazon services because there's a sale, they want to be able to add more servers and, and you know, use them effectively so nobody gets, um, gets left out. So that's, that's really our vision of cloud, co cloud computing, and we are working every day here to make sure this dream can be realized for our customers, our employees, and eventually for all of you. So with that, I'm concluding my cloud computing uh, talk. And the next uh, question that was uh, given to me by the, um, by the Geek Girl uh, team is to just share my thoughts about working in a large company versus startup. So I worked at a startup a few years ago uh, called Oblix, and I worked there for five years. And then uh, the, the Oblix got acquired by Oracle, and then hence I worked at a very large company right away after that, and I was there for three years. So I saw right, you know, within a days a difference between working at a small company and then working at a very large company, uh, which is Oracle. So at small companies, you know, there are a lot of challenges. You know, there's um, tight budgets, your hiring is tight, you're, you're always, uh, you know, worrying about what is it going to be like tomorrow. And, you know, there's a lot of, lot of challenges. But you're also, it's really fast moving. You know, if you ask anybody, what is the startup environment like, people will say it's intense. How many of you um, have worked at a startup? How many of you um, have your own startup? And how many of you have spouses who worked at a startup or have, have a startup? So see, so many of you already know <laughs> what it is like to be associated with the startup or work with the startup or your spouse who's working at a startup. What is it like? You know, it's intense. Mostly it's intense. People put in every minute of their effort to make a difference because they feel like, you know, if they don't do this today, they're going to miss out on something. But big companies, you know, provide sometimes a cushion of security and benefits. You know, there's a lot of time spent on collaborating with different teams, building processes so that everybody stays in sync. And, you know, sometimes the work delivery pressure may be less, but you still have the same kind of time pressures because you need to spend the time to be in sync with lots of different teams, maybe remote teams, global teams or whatever. So that's it's a little different, but they both, you know, require your 100%. In startups, maybe 120% sometimes. So, and you know, so I was very lucky that after working at those two places, um, you know, after some year, I thought, okay, you know, let me look around. Maybe there is a happy medium 
between the two, so where I can get my agility and drive and you know, innovation, a fast-paced innovation, and the blanket of security and um, you know, benefits and stuff. So I looked around, and um, I guess where I came, Citrix. So I've been here for five years, and um, I have to say I've been pretty lucky. You know, I've seen Citrix grow in these last five years. Uh, we went from, I think, 4,000 to 7,000 employees in the last five years, and you know, numbers might be a little off, but that's, that's how it feels like. And we are a you know, large global team now. We have seven. Uh, we are you know, located in seven different sites. And uh, I'm just really excited to be here that, uh, to see where, you know, where Citrix has come and uh, are going to be really looking forward to delivering the work better and live better dream. So thank you.